Okay, hi there again. So let's work in the first daughter, this one. Okay, we have this, a nice case. I really enjoy this case. So we will have these cases. You go to your training material 101 part, 101 part of you go YF17, and then here you have the solution. Okay, we're not going to run anything. Uh, so to extract the solution, go like this. So I hope you already know. So, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. okay, X. Sorry, I used the wrong command. Uh, and we're extracting the solution. So now we go there and we have everything ready to go. So, okay, so we're going to post process this. This was a steady solution. We're going to post process this last time. If you are good, if you want to run, you, you have it there, the solution. We're not going to run. So remember the, what I mentioned, you, 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 okay. So just to show you something about Padaphone. So if we go to the source code, Open for eight, and then let's see if I will. No, it will be bin. Here you will have this part of phone. Okay, this is a script. This is not a, a program, and this is script. See that is doing this one, calling these operations, whatever. Okay, so it's just a, a, a script around part of you that it will do. You no, know, it will load filters and create those files. So, is you launch part of phone, you will see that here is creating this temporary file, and that file is the one that is reading to open the case. The other alternative is, is to do like this. You, you first create the file man, man, uh, manually, touch, and let's say I would call it told the uh, case phone. Okay, and then you launch part of you, which is that version without that po uh, plugin and those options that kind of slow down everything. So you go here and you open this one. And for lar large cases, you will realize that this is much, much faster than the Paraphone. Also, you can use Paraphone minus built-in, which is equivalent to part of you, okay? So this one, Paraphone minus built-in, is also faster than the Paraphone. So I always recommend you use Paraphone minus built-in, plus we have seen that with this suction, we can post-process the compose cases. Or also, I forgot, you can go like this, Paraphone and the name of the phone, instead of opening that, so directly you are opening, okay? So you have all these three options, it's up to you, which one do you use? So for this case, I will go a uh, small case, I will open Paraphone, there is no problem, but again, everything that I'm going to do, the filters and the operations, they are exactly the same, doesn't matter what, what, what option you use from the terminal. So remember, you press apply, always this button is green, means uh, press me, and you have the geometry, okay? So here you go down, you will have all the mesh parts, so you can select everything. Then you go out, also you can select everything. So you see by default, it doesn't select everything. Part of them, okay? So you use part of your built-in or part of you will select everything by default. You, you need to do it manually. So the things are that, for instance, uh, just to show you something. So we have everything. I will create a cock plane. And then I have a cock plane there. Cool, nice. But let's say that in this cock plane, also I want to plot the geometry okay the airplane but you see that you cannot access that it has been also it, it has been already masked by this slide so i will show you this very important step okay just to separate the geometry in different blocks okay one thing that you can open a second case but that one will load more memory so here in, in part of it, you have filters okay filters here and there are many filters the specific one that we want to use is track block Okay, and here you can extract the different blocks that you have in the in the in the geometry. So I want to extract the internal mesh because I want to apply a filter there for cut plane. And then you press again and see that I will apply another another filter again the block. So I will go to resin extract block. You see that name here another one. But now in the second one, I want just to extract the surface of the airplane. So I select my surfaces here. Okay, apply, you have here and see that you have now your airplane. So now here you have this tree structure and you can apply again filters in different blocks. Okay, so if you, I want, I can extract another filter here, another block, and I will extract now the outer domain. Okay, so I will go here, upstream, lower, downstream side. Okay, so this is the outer domain is you need it for, for post-processing if you want to do whatever. So see that what I'm going to do is that this one, I will put it like outline. Okay, so 
fix color okay and then i would choose black then i have here the geometry so it's being colored now using btk you know the number of surfaces but you can put sol solid color choose your solid color and i will choose this one okay you have the geometry so see that these are different let's say uh entities that you can apply different filters so now you go here this is the mesh okay here you have the whole mesh so in this one i would like to apply a cut plane and then you have it you see that now you are keeping all this one instead if you apply this filter here you are not able to see you know the outer box everything okay you need to start to separate so this is very powerful i highly recommend you just always to use it if you need it if you don't want it you also just apply the filters directly here but sometimes you want, we want to do like this so these nice visualizations so here we have the cut plane okay and then in this cut plane you can go and plot whatever you want so in this case i okay uh, reset so so something that can be annoying also that you have this plane that you can move so you move it here or you can give the coordinate so uh, i recommend you always to hide that so hide it also remember that here you have advanced settings okay so you, if you want to see more settings just press here so i always have this option on so here you have the cut plane okay and then you can move it to give coordinates um for instance now i want to apply another filter where i want to apply a filter here in this slice okay so you go here i will apply a threshold okay a mac number and then you can play this one so this one will just cut the threshold where the values are given so i will go like this higher okay so here now i have a cut plane and then in this threshold that I'm applying, I just see in the regions where my Mac number is contained between these values, okay? And so on, so you can keep applying filters to filters or filters to blog, or to, okay? So it's up to you, but be careful, remember this data structure, okay? You need to, to always respect the one or apply filters to the right to the right blocks, to, okay, to right entities. So I think the, uh, this is it. The most important part okay uh something that i will mention okay you, you can apply filters also you can change the the color palette okay so see here that we have for instance let me go now in the airplane and i want to plot the mac number no this is the outer box sorry so the mac number on the airplane surface and you have the airplane there Okay, so you have those colors. Some, some people always, as people ask me, why this color? Why don't you, don't you have that by default, the rainbow, uh, the rainbow uh, co colors? And by default, part of you, I'm putting these colors. And this has been interesting and something that I also do that, uh, that analysis. And you will realize at one point that this palette, uh, color palette is, it, it is color insensitive in the sense that is you are color, color blind this won't give you problems you will see all these colors in, instead if you are colorblind if you use the rainbow palette i will show you so as you go here edit color map, map here you have the different color palettes so you have the rainbow one or the jet let me apply it here and now you apply that one just to this field mac number and you can do it so see that we have different fields with different colors you can do that with no problem but just to point out that now this color palette uh, will give you problems you are color color blind so that's why by default part, part of uh part of you let's say is politically correct in the sense that they, th they are thinking about colorblind people but it's up to you so you can have your color palette you can create it and this is what we're doing okay so if i want to save this state let's say that you have this configuration and you want to reproduce it automatically without doing all these steps everything you go here file save state and you call it let me call it test one okay so you will have that that let me close here here you have it and then you open this state if you want to save images it's here save screenshot so this is a static image so you want to save so you have different formats so you want to save animations and in this case we cannot do it because we don't have that data you have here save animation however you can animate cut planes i know going into details there so we have this cut plane we can animate it moving that is something look in the internet so i know what i don't want to enter in details so you can animate many things uh so if i close here now 
And if I launch and see that now I will launch, uh, I will go Doge case phone, Pada view case phone. So now I, I'm using another, previously it was Pada for now phone. Okay, so I don't want to load this one, I want to load the state. So you go here, load the state, and the state automatically will find this case. This is important, okay? In my case, okay, I know that when I save that state, I am saving that in this uh, <coughs> here, I am saving this one in this directory structure. Now i giving he here this location in my hard drive, but you will have a different location. So be careful not to, when you open the case here, you, you don't select this one, select this one, choose files. And here you will choose the file where you have that case. So you will go here, ellipses, click, and then you just look for this one. And now you are here, you will have your right directory. Okay, so be careful when I'm passing files, these states, they will have, they they're pointing to the location in a different computer. So now you need to give your, your right location. So you just click ellipses and choose the K phone. So you go here and you see that automatically you are reproducing, uh, you are reproducing everything. Okay. So say that you are, and see that I open part of you previously it was part of, and there is no problem. Okay. Everything is compatible. Uh, something else you can have multiple windows. So see that you can open another one and then you can open another one and you can close it. So if you want to open this and you want to have a render view like this, you go here, render view, and then you select here what you want to see. So I want to see the airplane and you see that now these views are different. They are not synchronized. And you can put here different things. So here you can see, you can plot the, let's say the cut planes and here you can plot, uh, let's say the Q criterion, the, uh, the vortices. So let me show you. So now I'm going to, extract the vortices. I need to extract here because I here I know that I have my mesh. I have that information available. So I go here, I choose Q criterion and I will choose, let's say 1000. Okay. I would put a number there. Okay, cool. I have, I have it there, but see that I'm visualizing that one here and see that this blue frame means this is the active view. Okay. So I will hide that one here. I don't want to see it here and I want to select this one, blue frame, active view. And here I want to see that Q criterion. Then you can change also the colors or I want to visualize using Mac number. And now you have the Mac number there. Okay. So see that you are using the same color palette that you have here. And if you want, you can split that view and then you can add another, another post processing. So you add this. So it's up to you what you want to see. So it might happen that you are, okay, then let me see that in my mind. Okay. I'm going here in my mind air, air is blue. Okay. So let me, let me put it here and I would choose blue, which is this blue well, air and water in my mind, but it's different, different, different blues. So I would choose this one. Okay. Okay. You have air there and then you can add also, uh, transparency. Okay. So you have your, okay. Air, I put in the blue, light blue, and then transparency. And these are the vortices. Okay. So see that we have these vortices, vortex here in this track. Then here there is separation. There's another vortex here. So very nice. Okay. This is an actually a nice solution. So uh, remember that those vortices, you can change, you can change in, in contours. You can change not the isosurface. So I choose one, uh, one south. As you put 10, you will capture more, more information or less, sorry, or, or no more. Okay. So probably this is too much. So let's go 10,000. Probably we're going to see less, more better definition. See that better. So it's up to you to choose those values. So I would leave it like this. So, but sometimes some people like to synchronize views. So how do we synchronize views? So as you go here, right click, see that you have link camera, press here, and then you press in the view that you want to synchronize. So if you have different views, you should say that one. I want to synchronize with this. So now see that they are synchronized. So since I open a new view, uh, it's this, okay. Okay. So this, see that only these two views are synchronized. Okay. So you can start to synchronize is you want to erase that link between the views. You go here tools and you will have manage links. Okay, you have the link there you can remove and now 
links as being erased. So here I hope you get the idea of how to plot all these filters. So this is very important, this track one, okay? So you can start to divide and apply different filters, different blocks. Okay, so you select, you select in one block, you put the surfaces and in the other, the internal mesh, and then the internal mesh, you can apply all these filters, okay? And here, remember, you have many filters, okay? You have all the filters here. So again, just go to the documentation and, and see what they are doing. I will show you a few of them, okay? But not of them. That, that will take a whole week, probably more time. So let me close here. And now let me show you because if you are here, you will see the folder. And usually in all the tutorials, when you see a folder part of you, it's likely probably that you are going to find states predefined states. So let's look at these predefined states, what we have. So here I just put in everything, so I will show you a few of them. Remember that you will need to change this location here when you open, okay? So let me go here and I will use part of you and let me use now the other option, part of you built in, okay? Just to show you the three options. So this one automatically will create this file, whatever. Uh, sorry, it's part of part of built in. So this one automatically create the case form, whatever. I don't want to load this one because when I open the state, it will be low again. So I don't want to have two files loaded. So you go here, load state. And here in part of you, you will have all the states. So I will go the first one, extract block, okay? Remember in your case, you will need to click here, choose file and then choose the right you now phone. So in this case, this was the one created. This is the one I previously created. And then this one will point to the right location of your that file. So let me raise this one that I created. So see that this is here is I'm showing you how to create the blocks. What I did previously, you have it here. Okay, so see that a previous state that I created. Okay, so that was that. So let's go to different to different states, okay, to see what we have, more complicated states. By the way, let, let's say that I don't erase this one, I leave it there. If I open another state. You will see that we're going to have two files and that will take more memory. So I will go for the state, for instance, cut, cut plane, and I will go this one, cut plane one. Okay. Remember in your case, you will go here. In this case, I will ignore because I know I'm in the right location. And see that you have still, we have the original state. Okay. But that one is taking memory. So let me raise. That's why we don't load. So in this state, what we're doing, Extract the block, and then you are applying this slice there with this, with the with the cut plane. Okay. So let's open another state. Okay. Now the cut plane two. We have a second one, and to show you how to create multiple cut planes, so you can imagine that it's easy. You can start and just cut plane, cut plane, cut plane, cut plane. But sometimes there is a way to do it. The, the, that one can be time consuming. There is a way to do it parametrical. So as you go here, cut plane two. Okay, well, let me do it so you follow me. Okay, always remember to do that. So you select this one, you are opening and you are in the right location. So see here that we have 10 cut planes. Uh, okay, uh, reset, okay, show plan, hide the plan. See that we have, let me, 10 cut planes, okay. So you can create this manually. You can apply multiple slides to that one, but it can be time consuming. So there is a way to do that one. So if you double click here, you will see that you have this option here that you can add cut planes. Okay, so let me show you again how to do it here. So I will apply this to this block, apply this, and you go here and you have the option here. And you say, I want the cut plane, I know, from minus 10 to 10. Okay, you should also remember to choose the direction. I will put now 20 cut planes. And automatically will compute everything. You have your 20 cut planes there. Okay. So in this case, there are normal to X direction. You can choose the normal distance here, uh, the, the, how you want it. Okay, here. So normal to X, Y, or Z, or you can give your own your own plane. So if you have a different plane, you can just, for instance, to show if you have a plane that is like this, just put here now the normal. 
Okay, so see that very easy. And then now when you do this, when you will have this coupling and let me put Mac number and then they let me apply. So all these couplings are grouped in a single in a single object here. So you can apply now the threshold. I'll apply a threshold density there. Reset and let me go like this. No, let me reduce. And see that automatically to all those couplings, this filter, okay, where we apply this filter automatically. Okay, we have it there. Okay, so everything is grouped. So this is how you work, okay? If you want to create a single or multiple planes, remember that the, that the tree structure, okay? So here we're applying to the mesh, if you're applying here, it will be just to the airplane. Okay, and again, if you want to save the filter, the, the figure saves a screenshot. So let me close here and let me move again to another uh, state. Okay, so we have many states. Uh, delete, I don't want it there, load state, and let's see what we have here. So we have couplings, we see this one. So let's see this one, isosurface. Okay, so here, isosurface one, I already showed you that. Okay, but let's revisit as surface. Remember, those are surfaces with the same value. Okay, so we have here, and we are not seeing anything here. So I don't know, probably that is an empty one. So let's open the other isosurface. Okay, so always remember to do that. Okay, and I don't see anything here again. Okay, ISO surface. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know what I was doing. Okay, so let's move. Okay, yeah, yeah, I probably. So let's go again, part of it. Okay, delete. So let's move to a uh, uh, part of you. Okay, so for instance, let me move. So for instance, calculator. So here we have calculator. Okay, let me show you what is a calculator. I open calculator one and this one will let you compute the right field, fields. So see what we have here. We have multiple views as I showed you previously synchronized and see here that we have density calculated in part of you, density calculated in open phone, and we're comparing the values, okay? So basically to compute, we know this is a compressible case, so see that we have extract blood, we apply the calculator, this is a calculator, we, we apply it here, and then here you can do your operation. So we use the equation of a, of a state to compute part, uh, density in part of you, okay? So we're using the field, so you do your operations here. So you select the fields. So here you have all the fields available and you can do the operations. Also you have vectors, okay? And you have here all the operations that you can do here. So here you have, I think this is pretty complete, but you have things more complicated that you can do. You can use a Python calculator, okay? For that, you will need to compile Paraphone or this part of you in open phone with Python support, or you can download the binary already pre-compiled with support for Python. So you have that Python ca calculator, which is which is more powerful. What I think this, this one is okay. You can do a lot of stuff. So see that here we compute and we compare and we have the it's different slides, okay, so we have one there, see that we have a second slide, normal to Y. So let me see, again, let me open another calculator. So let's see what we have in calculator three. So if we go here, calculator three, let's see what I was doing there. Okay, so in this case, we have the difference. So see that we have, Okay, so what we do, what, what we did here is just compute the difference between density in part of you and open phone, okay? So basically see what we did, let me show you the, the steps here. So in this case, okay, we go here, open, apply the first calculator and compute the density in part of you. Second calculator, it is the difference between density in part of you and density computed in, in in open phone, multiply per 100 to, to obtain the percent to 10 percentage, and the values that you see here is percentage. So 0 0.6 means 6 percent, uh, 0 0.6 percent different between the. This is relative per difference. So you see that there is some difference, but but not much. Okay, so this is just to show you that, and then you start to do your blocks here. Okay, 
So this is a nice way, way for instance, you have analytical solutions. Usually I do like this, okay, a subtraction, a relative error, and, and you compare your percentage. Okay, so that was that filter. Let's move to another filter, another state. So I go here, load state part of view, and let me go to gradients. Okay, so here we use a very nice filter called gradients. So remember that we can compute gradients also here. So now here we have the isosurfaces. So see that what we have here in this figure that is synchronized, but these two Q criterion that we're seeing here, they are different. So one correspond Q criterion computed in open phone and the other Q criterion computed in in part of you. So let's see here in the in the tree structure, okay, in the pipeline browser. So extract blood, and then we apply, here we have the mesh, and here we apply the filter. This filter is located here, gradient. So this is very powerful, and this basically you compute the gradients of a field. So if you click here, you select the scalar array, important, okay. This one, what it will do, will separate that, okay? So you can do it in T, Mac number, whatever, okay? So usually you compute also the gradients in the, in the interpolated values in, in here. Here, I don't recommend you to compute it there, okay? So you select your, ve your vector and then you see, you can select this one or this select. You select, you compute gradients and give it a name. Here you can compute divergence, you can compute vorticity. So see that we're computing here vorticity in part of you and you can compute compare it with the output of, of open phone and here we have the Q criteria okay so see that you have many options you apply then you compute that field uh, this operation might be time consuming okay depending on the mesh so that's why also again it can it's better to get it from from open phone but again you want you can do it here and here you have the contours okay so this one is okay here we have this is part of you and this is open phone. Okay, so we're comparing here, open from part of it. And see that pretty much seems to this results. And actually it looks that it seems to be better in, in, in part of you, nicer, okay? So, and to show you, you see here that you have this surface. That, so it's pretty much this is also following your mesh. So here is clearly the mesh is tetra, no? you see that, that, that structure. But there are ways to smooth that surface. So what, for instance, you want to smooth that surface for, for some reason, if you use generate surface filter, you will smooth that one. But this one here, you will see that you have one that is called smooth. This one does not work very well, okay? It will smooth a polygon, but you will need to do some conversion from Tetra, okay? From, from. So if you use this one and you apply here, let's see that. Okay, actually didn't, didn't, didn't do a nice work, but you see that you, you see an influence there that okay, so actually, this is most of the original one, but let's apply that one in Paraphone. Okay, let's see if so. Sometimes it, it will smooth that one, it will make it smoother. Okay, in this case, also. Okay, maybe I mean, okay, let me go here and I can go and I have a notion here that I can convert that to bam, 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 bam. So you see that you have many options. You can play with all of them. So in particular, I was looking to surface vector. Triangular street. So one of these will add a triangulation that can make, I don't recall. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, probably in the next one we're going to see. I don't recall, but probably so, so you can re-triangulate and have a better triangulation. But sometimes when you apply no generate surface a surface normally you have the tendency to smooth that. Okay, so this was this case. So now let's move for a streamline. So we we saw we already saw in co-processing you know, how to compute streamlines, but also you can compute streamlines here. So sometimes also actually I prefer to, to compute streamlines here now because you have the visual reference. So let's say streamlines, let me open. Remember that to, to, to update the path. I'm not doing because I already know that this is okay. So see here that you have the airplane and we have two streamlines release from a location somewhere here. So if I go here, see that it's saying, apply that to the mesh, a string tracer, you have the filter here, okay? So as you go alphabetical, you will have a string tracer. 
this one. So you have to, so a string tracer, and then you have a string tracer from a given surface. So this one, it will release from a point or a line. Okay, so let's see what we have. A string tracer, and see that here I'm selecting, okay, for instance, in this case, okay, uh, show a sphere okay see that i'm releasing here you have the sphere i'm releasing from here from this sphere okay you give the coordinate you have here the options high resolution line so you can have a line or a point source you can release from surface i will show you then later that so then for instance if i go and see here that i'm integrating those string lines in both directions you can say just forward or backward, okay, so you can move it there, okay? So this is how it works. So you have a string lines by default are these lines, okay? They are not very pretty, so it's here that they are pretty lines. So what you do is apply another filter to this one. So this filter is called, it's called two. Again, go here and you will have two, okay? The two, you apply it to the string lines. So see that if you want to do things pretty and you apply the filter there. Okay, so here you have again many options, you know, normals, whatever, clapping. So it's up to you to play with those options. Okay, so, and you can apply as many as you like. Okay, so in this case, I apply both filters are, are points, but remember you can use lines. So let's go and choose a line here. Let me use the full values. Okay, and there you have the line that it is being released from there. You can move it manually, so let me move it here. Okay, or you can give your coordinates there manually, it's up to you. So I'm doing this. Probably not the optimal way, apply. And then you can also choose the number of lines that you want to release. It's up to you, okay? So, okay, actually it went pretty much. It went pretty well. So see that you have all your string lines there, okay? So for instance, okay, da, 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 maximum. So these are integration values, okay? Um, resolution, thousand, it's probably a little bit too much, 100 points. So it's 100 points in, along this line you are releasing. You're releasing those lines, okay? So this is how you create string lines, basic one. So let's move a little bit more advanced, okay, in string lines. So I go love states, state, string lines, always. So go here, string line two, open. Remember to choose the right location. So I will do it just to, to cement this idea in your brain. Okay, so now it's open and see that what we have here. Okay, so now we're releasing from this specific surface that you see here, the wind and the and the other parts of the airplane. So what we're doing here is that extract surface, internal mesh, okay, but also here we have another surface. Okay, so this is the whole airplane. Let me hide and then let me hide this trend. And then we're releasing just from the wind and the strike. Okay, so here we are releasing. So when you release, you are released for, from every cell center or node. Okay, so you have the option to choose from cell center or node. So if you have a 1 million cell surface cells, it will be a lot. So you have the, the option to do masking to reduce that, which will be the next case that I show you. But how did we release from the, from a source? I will show you. So we are in this state. Okay, I want to release from this surface in my domain. So I use this filter, a string tracer with custom source. Again, you go here, you have here. Okay, so if you select this, it will ask you the following. You go here. Okay, let me redo, re, redo it again. So I will select this. Select this one. will ask you the input. Where do you want to release? I want to release here. And what is the seed source from where I want to release from here and then apply. This case a little bit time consuming and off you go. You have it there. So it's color by BT key. Okay. So different surfaces. So the white surface will be from this region. Okay. So you see there, or you can choose your coordinates, whatever. So this is how this one 
configuration times you want to compute residence time okay you have there okay so let me call it by mac number and this is this is it this is how you do it okay so here you will have again the auction servicing but here you are releasing so for instance you want to compute vorticity you need it is apply so probably will be a faster computation okay so you are do computing those releasing those streamlines from that surface so you can release from the inlet outlet or you can create uh, a source so let me show you so for instance you have this uh, this okay and I will create here a source let me create uh, let's say a, da, 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 a disk okay so see that you have uh, that this there let me move that this I don't like it here uh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, where is that ta, 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 ta. okay let me increase the outer radio okay increase resolution okay so you have a nice disk there so i can release from there and so you go again so you go select filters string tracer so you said i want to release in my mesh domain mesh domain and the seed input you have okay uh, uh, stint trace okay i don't have available the disk here okay okay it's not available but okay i will need to map that but this is idea is you have another surface you will select it and you will release from there but what if we want to release to reduce the number of stream points there that from where we are releasing so this is the next case that i want to show you so we go delete load state and that one we have a you know it will be streamlines three okay and voila we have it here see that now we're releasing from less locations and actually the location from where we're releasing are these spheres that you see on the surface okay so how do we do this so let's see the state the, the steps here in the tree so your block you apply, you apply your string tracer so we're releasing in the domain from the surface however here what we're doing which is important we're applying let me show you a mask okay so see that okay let me go and let me start to hide a few of this okay so originally what is happening here okay now this is it so we're releasing okay so the steps okay let me go and erase this okay i cannot i cannot address okay uh, 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 I cannot, I don't see where to raise. Okay, so let me show you the steps. So, what happened here was we have this block. Okay, so this second is the whole airplane. So, we're releasing from here. Okay, and it's selecting everything. So, now in this one, from where we're going to release, we apply a mask. Okay, so this is another filter. And see that mask, what it will do, you see this point there it's just masking there so as you put here ratio one you will see that you will have more points okay ratio zero you will have all the points there so a mask it will choose okay will reduce the, the 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 point count okay so see that you can randomize here random so you have different options here so special how to plot that so generate vertices single vertices so play around but in this case look at that we are just releasing from here so if i increase this count okay and now what i did the next step that you have that i apply a glyph to that one just to visualize those so when i apply a glyph the vectors i select spheres and see that in this case we're going to release specifically from these locations be careful that here you need to okay you say all points okay select all points and see that you have the location and now you apply your uh, string tracer with custom source so you select here and then you select mask point you release from here 
Okay, so this one I cannot I cannot modify. But here I'm releasing the domain from the mass points. Okay, and then you have this streamlines. And then I apply the tube and you have the nice tubes there. Okay. So very cool trick. Okay. So feel free, as you see, there are many, 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 many filters here. So feel, feel free to play with those if you want, but I'm showing you the ones that I use more often. So now let's move to the, oh yeah, let's see what else we have probably. Yeah, yeah, second to last. Okay, so let's go para view vectors. Okay, so let's plot some vectors. Okay, so I select there. So it's very intuitive, I guess we already know. So here I'm plotting vectors in this cut plane, the one in the symmetry plane. Okay, so see that you have vectors there. So basically they are following the, the components and you, 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 you can apply uh, also colors and everything. So see that the steps. So I created this slice. Oh, actually we're plotting into slice, okay? And you apply the glyph here. So when you apply glyphs, be, be careful. So specifically, okay, I want to play with this one. See that you can select whatever you want to use. Okay, so previously I used a sphere, but here arrow will give you the sense. You can also change resolution there. But what is important here, you need to select the orientation array. So here you are putting the vertices in the, let me go here. in the nodes okay is you select here cell center okay i don't want to array to scale we are putting see that now in the cell center okay please okay you you have cell center and also some face center there Okay, so you have the option, but let's put it here in the notes, okay? And then orientation, okay, orientation, let me put orientation like this. Okay, so this is, okay, now this is orientation and this is how I want it to scale, in case you want to scale. In this case, I'm not scaling, okay? So they are uniform. If you put a scaling, it will scale according to that value and then you give it here a scale factor, okay? So as you see, things can be a little bit complicated here. But what is interesting here is that here, as you go down, see that here you have this option. You can choose all points and it will plot all uh, all, all, all vectors. So if you have, I don't know, 10 million, uh, a couple with 10 million cells there, it will put 10 million vectors. So it can be very heavy in all that visualization. So you can choose no different options. So uniform spatial, and here you give the maximum numbers or every nth point. So here you see that it's plotting every four or five points. Okay. So it's up to you how to do this visualization. Okay. So but be careful with this. Okay. So I, I think usually by default, it is a top like this uniform spatial distribution 5,000. Okay. So here the seed is the random value. Okay. So you put different numbers, different locations. Okay, so user by default like this, okay, but you then you need to, to, to play around with that. So this was this basic plane. So for instance, let's see uh, here. So see here, let's see how we are doing the scaling here in this one that seems to be nicer, those vectors there. Okay, so see the, here we have where we have the separation, see the vortex, how, how it's following that. So what we have, See that, okay, orientation array, U in the cell center in this case, no scaling, so these are uniform, and 0 0.2, and then it's showing you every end point. So as I put here all, I will see a lot of what, uh, vectors. Okay, that was that auction, so let's move to the other auction. Let's see what, what I did there, so load state, part of view, vectors vector two okay so let's see what i was doing here okay we see that we have more options okay so see here that he, okay we have this normal vector here okay this is this is a previous one there is nothing new okay but this is interesting seeing this couple and now i have the parallel projection in this one see that now here i can identify how it is rotating 
in this projection okay and again you can put a scale in the numbers that you want to see whatever but how to do this again you create your slice okay so in the slice is where we put the 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 vectors then here you have the glyph the normal vectors there is no problem just so we don't need this step okay this is the, but in this slice that you are here to plot the parallel projection what you need to do you have this filter surface vectors go here filters and you will have surface vector okay then you apply this one in this slice so let me go here okay surface ve vectors will show you the slide but now it will decompose okay the input vector okay so have the input vector and then constraint mode you have here so parallel perpendicular or scale pa perpendicular scale so in our case parallel so you have more vectors you will see the options here so now that you have that surface vector you apply the glyph to this one okay and now this is the parallel component just to show you this is the normal component okay so this is the vector normal okay you see the actual direction and in this one is the parallel pro component the projection in that plane and then here we can just get a better idea of the rotation okay see here rotating separation how it's moving and you can apply that in the other plane was the same operation okay so let's open the, the search action which is applying all cut planes okay so just to show you that everything is incremental here so as you have that option with all the cut planes it will select all of them and then it will apply everything in the same way so here see that we have this Okay, so we created a group here, I think. Uh, okay, here we, here we create this slice here, but we use 10 slices. And then when you select that, basically you apply automatically to all of those sections. Okay, so see, very nice. This is a cool visualization also, like that one now to, to see the rotation and everything better. Okay. So let's see part of you what else we have. So we have gone through all. So the final one that I want to show you is ISO volume. Okay. So this can be expensive, this visualization, because you are going to visualize the volume using some uh, transparency filters. Okay. So if you have a very large domain mesh, it can be something heavy. Okay. So be careful of that. I give giving you the warning. Okay, so here what we have is this, so multiple views just to show you. And this is what we have. See that we change the color palette, very cool. And see that we have this ISO volume and we're plotting that one. Again, this can be very, very heavy. Okay, so here we're using no rendering and graphic video, that is stuff. You need a good car, video cars. You are using the integrating Intel video cars. This will, I think it will crash. Usually it, 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 it crash. So how do you do this one? You go here, extract blood and see isobolian is another filter. You go isobolian, you have it there. And you select here and you choose what is the, the what you want to, to visualize. Okay, so, okay, that is this. So you sh it shows here Mac numbers. So get the ISO volume of Mach number values contained between these values. So as you increase here, you will see more. So see that is kind of a slow. So probably now it will show me all the domain. Okay, so see that this is, and is is applying a transfer function. Okay, that I will show you where we choose that transfer function so be careful with this one that it can give you problems is you know you don't know how to control that one is, is this where a measure of i don't know 10 million so here it will take like 10 minutes to to do this rendering okay okay now i see that i reduce that i so okay so this is just, let's say, this is proper CFD, you know, color for directors. Let's so say that you have there. Uh, how do you control that transfer function? Oh, let me change a little bit here, zero 03. Okay, I think this was the initial one. Dun, dun. Mm. 
Okay, now, okay, wow. That's a small change. Okay, that is the, the Mac number of the domain. So that transfer function to control is you go here, edit color map is here. So see that you can go here and according how the, you choose this color, you will see more or less. Okay, so this is how you control. Okay, so you can go here, add a new point. So to add a new point is double click, I guess, yes. Okay, and add the new point there. And you choose there what, what you want to see. Okay, so this, you can apply it to different color palettes. So let me choose, for instance, ba 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 jet apply and then you have your jet there okay so you start to add more points and and then you're done okay so you can erase that points with Dell and then erase this one okay so you can ah okay it's plans see that you have this control okay so things can get very complex here okay so it's up to you how you want to put this one but be, be careful because this can make it crash your your computer very easily again this is not something that you will use most of the time okay so here that probably yeah this is for photorealistic rendering or whatever so, so i put t there okay probably this one is the hot air and then the cold one whatever okay so this was the last auction okay let me close and as you see things can get very time consuming very complicated also this highly depends on your, your, your mesh the time here was fast because we are working with a small mesh i think yeah you see that half a million cells if you're working with 10 million cells the separation start to become slow so that's why it's better to do the code processing what I showed you previously that creating those code planes already in, in OpenFun. So, okay, that was this all for this case. That was the state case. The next one will be doing a state. I show you a new, new, new additional features. Okay, thank you for your attention and see you next video. Bye.